Danny, hey, Ken here from our uh, LinkedIn group, Coach Support Group with EG. Shout out to EG. And I'm going to check, take a look at your website for about 10 minutes and give you some feedback on ways to improve it. I am a website designer working with coaches. And um, yeah, let me, uh, let's dive in. I did have a peek at it for like a minute just to see if it loaded. Basically, I'm going in cold. And... Let me put on my jacket and let's dive in. Okay. Uh, Danny VO. And it's kentheing.com. Getting a little bit of a disconnect here. Uh, but let me click it and pop it open. Here we go. Okay. It's in, uh, what is this? I don't know. Let's see if I can guess what language. And this is like, I don't know. Thai, Indonesia, somewhere over there. Tong, Lung, Nang. Don't know. Uh, let us open. Let's turn it into English. Oh, Vietnamese. So I'm going to hit on English. And this is my Google Chrome. And this is the little thing to do it. Otherwise, obviously, I would be out. <laughs> I think the foreign languages are cool looking when I see them written out stuff. And sometimes I can pick out a word. Looks like blog in Vietnamese is the same. Yeah, English. Okay. Let's see what we get. Um, close. Okay. So it looks like a WordPress website because this black bar is there. Um, so, you know, if you have a free site on WordPress you're or subscription base, you're going to get this. Well, subscription, I don't think we'll have the bar up there. You get this bar up there, which will make us, well, me, because I'm a WordPress user, it probably shows it. Other people who might have a WordPress website will see that. And, you know, it's really not relevant to your website. It's just, a distraction, I would say. Um, but let's start off first with things that I like so I can get you feeling good and then inject some uh, nice criticism or suggestions to improve. Um, the Holy Cooker, okay? That doesn't match keything.com, so that, that's a bit of a disconnect to me. I do like that this logo appears to be a logo in the upper left corner. Spread happiness energy. It's a positive message. Cool. Um, menu on the right. I know the um, you probably chose a theme where that's there, so that's cool. Menus on the top right. That's good that you have a handful of items and that it's obvious what these are. Training, um, so it's cool. This is obvious what these things are. Oftentimes, with it, with when coaches make websites, they use different weird words or um, they make a mess out of the menu. So this is a nice clean menu. So overall, my initial instincts are like good. I can I can engage with this site. Cookies. Excuse me. Agree. And um, let me have a sip of coffee here. Okay. Uh, key Ken thing. Okay. So this is a menu. This is a logo. Put that at the upper left corner. Get rid of the holy cooker. Um, Ken thing. Ken thing. Thing. Natural healing and training hub. Yeah. Get this in the corner. Put that there if you can. I, I know these these themes. It, it, it's hard to work with. Uh, it can be hard. Work. Okay. Um, co healing, attention. So, you know, if you're targeting English speakers, uh, this is not going to work well. If you're targeting people who speak Vietnamese, great. But it looks like you got a mixed bag. You got English and you got Vietnamese. So, um, I think you should best choose which people you're most likely to run into. I would imagine a lot of Vietnamese people probably speak English, but not a lot of English people speak Vietnamese. So, um, you know, consider that, I guess. Uh, this is great. We specialize in health, mental health training courses and natural healing therapies for businesses and individuals. This is very helpful for me to know what this site is about. I'd make this the biggest thing and put it up here and then put this logo up in the corner. And that'll help me get my bearings because when I first got here, you know, it's a, bit, it's a little bit of struggle to see what's going on. The Sacred Cocoon, a place where... Um, I don't know if this is referring to something or you just as a cool as a name that people are calling you. So maybe say often referred to as the sacred cocoon. Um, our healing training hub is a place where positive life energy converges and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I don't know if you're trying to teach me this is, this might be a book title. This may be, um, you know, some video series. So when I see something, the sacred cocoon sounds like a book title to me, but if that's what they call your place, you know, just people out of refer reference, or you're trying to call it yourself, make that clear. 
nice image here nice color look like some uh yeah i like the wood and the brick and the, the earthiness and the browns and the um plants it does feel sacred it has some sacredness about it a little you know these interesting plants um Right, so um, yeah, as you can see, just for five minutes, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Who's what? You know, what's this thing? Ken thing? Is this you? Is, Ken, is that a name of a of a, a process? Because to me, Ken is a name, so I I don't know Vietnamese, so that's where I'm limited. Ken thing might just mean good energy in Vietnamese, so I don't know. Um, but I'd make it clear up here: natural healing and training hub tells me a lot so maybe you definitely get this logo up there it's gonna be a big deal the holy cooker is gonna be uh this is just very distracting or it doesn't seem like it's aligned up with what you're doing um in general it's cool to have your own phrases for things um but i would not lead with those things i would I'd explain them later on or just um i would lead with what people can understand and uh, make sense of right away uh, cool video. So that's cool. It probably tells me about what you do. Um, okay. Uh, it's already too long and not because I'm a hectic rushing person in the world, but I think you can get your message, your point across in a little bit faster. Um, if you're trying to take me on a journey of spiritual relaxation, um, then maybe offer that somewhere, you know, 10 minute spiritual escape video and make that something else. If this one is trying to tell me what it's about, um, at the moment I'm, just, you know, when we're on the internet, we work, we just go a lot faster, whether it's good or bad, who knows? We're just trying to assess and engage and take action. I would imagine someone who actually ends up here is looking to probably book a session, a healing session of some sort. Um, so you probably should have some sort of book, well, training, therapy, healings, therapy, healing services, train. Okay. So you do a bunch of things, but I would make sure it's clear that, um, what you want people to do at your site. Now, if you're trying to teach other people to be healers, that's probably this. And if you're trying to offer healing services, um, I'd make a section explaining that you offer. Yeah. So here you do offer healing, hands on healing, something, um, that didn't come across at the top that you actually offer some services. I mean, it was indirectly implied by this, but then I would see, I don't know, a staff person. So I think you need to get that message across quicker. Maybe a video, a short video on here, like a minute saying, hey, we're often known as a sacred cocoon. We're a place for healing. Uh, my name is blah, blah, blah. Welcome. And we offer healing services. You know, you can book online, or if you want to become a trainer, we off, we train people on how therapists here. And just make that really quickly clear. You know, as you can see, I'm, I'm struggling to get uh, the full gist of everything. And I'm a web designer. I know what I'm, <laughs> I know what I'm looking for. Um, just imagine your everyday person. It's going to be work. Um, cool testimonials here. Sacred cocoon, the sacred cocoon with the role of helping those who want to. Are you really called the sacred cocoon? Um, ah, sacred. So, this sacred cocoon is something here. I'm getting the feeling that you're trying to mix a bunch of different things into one site, which that often makes it difficult. Websites are really ideal when it's one main service, for one main kind of client. Um, that's when it's most easiest. And then I know that sometimes we don't have just one thing for one person. Um, so we work on that. Build data and value. Okay. We customize courses, customize the course. Um, Reiki master partners and affiliates, school, mental health, you know, train the healer. Okay. You have stuff coming on. Here's a actually quite live June, May, April. Um, I guess this will be at the blog. So let me just quickly go there and then I'm going to dump out, um, English. By the way, as I do, um, go through this, <clears throat> what's your first name again? Danny Vu, Danny Vo, Danny, 
post in the comments if you what you're finding most useful. And um, yeah, I'd like to hear, um, and anyone else watching, I'd like to hear how this video is coming across. Um, if you have thoughts on how he can improve his website. Cool. Uh, here's some blog. Okay, so you have stuff. Here's, I don't know, this is the same thing. Oh, yeah, June 1st. Okay, date. Um, okay, cool. We'll get on you for growing your business and getting things going. Um, the holy cooker, Ken Thing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's what Ken Thing is, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me move back to Vietnamese. Okay, so that means holy cooker. Okay. Look, yeah, this is what you're going to deal with when you have an English person coming to your website. So just keep that in mind. So good. Ken Thing, it does match. It, it, it translated it for me before, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it. Okay, Danny, uh, I will see you in our group. I hope this is helpful. Again, comment. Let me know what you think. Until then, see you.